Hello guys, welcome again. In this video, we are going to learn a very exciting topic. It's called pointer. In C language, when we learn, uh, then we always afraid from the pointers. And C and C++ recipe is pointer. Because of the pointer, C and C++ language are so popular and so powerful also. So the same concept we have in Go language also, the pointer concept. So here we will see how we can use the pointers in Go language and how we can achieve the same kind of power that C and C++ have. So we have a one function here. I say swap this function and here in this I just have the num1 and num2 as an int type and this function is going to swap the value. So I have a temp and equal to I say num1 and then the num1 is equal to num2 and num2 equal to temp. So we have swapped the value. Now I create two variable n1 equal to 20 and n2 equal to 30. Here n i fmt dot println I use it and I say n1 and n2 like this and I use swap function like this and pass here n1 and n2 good again I am just printing this value so before calling a swap function and after calling a swap function I save it and I try to run it and you see that there is the same value in the calling before the function and after calling a function because we are not using right now the call by reference we are using call by value now we have to convert it into the pointer so for that what i have to do i have to pass here the reference of these variable first of all like this then i have to declare this as a pointer so i declare this as a pointer so n num1 and num2 is a pointer we can declare like this also and we can declare indivisible also like this whatever you want we have a two way to create like this we can also use and like this also we can use we know in previous video how to pass a parameter in function now here we have to use a star here we have to use a star we know that value of a the use of a star is point out the values so here just we are getting a value of this here then value of 2 is in num1 then value of temp is in the value of 2 because star is used for getting a value from the pointer so these two are the pointers and we are passing the address of these variable here if i save it and run it now if you see the magic we have 30 and 20 the value has been swapped same example we do in c and c++ languages also they use pointer here also i have explained you that how we can use call by reference and how we can create pointer variable here like this as we do in c and c++ languages so that's all in this video thank you for watching my video Thank you.